right there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. There's a few things we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, we're going to try to do uh, a boss or two out of the leftover boss rematches in this kingdom. But first, um, I remembered what the song we haven't got here is. It's the Japanese version of Jump Up Superstar. If you come down uh, here, you can see the Japanese version of Honey Lynn Ridge Escape. So. The way you get the Japanese versions of those two songs is by interacting uh, with these radios throughout the game. They, are they radios? I guess they have a little antenna, so probably. Uh, they have a chance of playing... There we go. So the first one I hit did it. Uh, it's now playing the Japanese version of Jump Up Superstars. If you look at the mem list again, you can see we now have it. So that's easy peasy. Uh, the next thing we're going to do uh, is have a look around and see if we can find uh, the easier of the three remaining bosses, uh, which is Talk Drift, uh, which is the one from the Wooded Kingdom. Uh, because Talk Drift doesn't require us to, well, it, it, we use a capture, so we don't have to crouch. So it shouldn't be any harder than normal, theoretically. Uh, I still think it's the hard, harder, harder capture-based boss out of the like remaining rematches that we need to do. So that's why I've saved until now. But it should be easier than the last two, which don't involve captures, or s sort of don't involve captures, and will probably be the hardest. So we're gonna head over that way. Uh, let's head up this little beanstalk here. Or, you know, whatever this is. A vine. I guess it's a vine. I believe this is the right one. Uh, yes, so this is Talk Drift. We are going to use a Peach Amiibo here just to save save a little hassle getting a life up art somewhere else. Uh, you can buy one in this kingdom, but I don't think there's anywhere to get a free one very easily. And I don't like buying them, it's annoying. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, Talk Drift, uh, it's fairly similar to normal. You can see, if you look closely, that there's those uh, shockwave launcher thingies in the corner there. Uh, they're visible in the picture. They weren't in the original fight, that's the main difference. That there's now little shockwave launchers around the edges, which makes it harder. Uh, so, here's the start of the fight. Uh, I believe you can still jump up the top there and... Yeah, probably. Uh, just like in the original, you can probably get up there and get a heart if you want one, but it's just a regular heart, so it's kind of pointless. Anyway, uh, so the boss battle isn't changed much. Uh, you still have to use an upper to do it, and so the main difference is that these shockwave generators are here. You'll see the impact that has shortly. So, the basic concept of the fight is pretty much identical. You just gotta go break these boxes like before. Uh, you can see it's, he's blasted at the shockwave thingies, uh, which is creating a bit more danger than the original laser that just zapped like, the one spot and was pretty easy to dodge. Uh, this is where you'll start to see the tricky part. When this laser comes out, it will activate all of the shockwave generators and it creates very little safe space basically because everything activates all at once which can be a little scary um, it's not too tricky though, you just gotta do something like that I would say this boss is harder than the original. Uh, Cookatiel and the Mecha Wiggler and especially Mollusk Lancer aren't really much harder than the original versions. But this one I think is harder and I accidentally hit the crouch button so now I've lost my uproot. 
Uh, and my rubber band came off as well, so that's that's annoying. Oh my god. Do you absolutely need the upgrade for this fight, I believe. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Uh, it's also it's also turning now a bit, which is a little harder. You wait till it stops. As you can see, I have used up my life up heart now. Uh, I don't think I'll I don't think I'll worry too much about getting another one. The fight is nearly over. There we go. Not hard. It's a pretty easy fight, really. There we go. And there's the moon. Uh, so that's that rematch done. There's two more, and they both involve not being in a capture, which makes them the hardest of the bosses to do in this run. Uh, one of them is also, I think, just the hardest boss of the rematches, period, so... Uh, that one's going to be a bit frustrating. <laughs> uh, if we have a look at our list now, we can see... Uh, we have four of these rematches done. There's two more, so we'll be doing those two. Uh, next, we're just going to make our way over to the other two. Uh, the next one we're going to do is probably the easier of the remaining ones. Uh, but it's still quite difficult, in my opinion. Uh, we'll be using another life up part before we head in, just to make things a little easier on ourselves. Uh, uh, it's this one over here. This tower here, you can see there's some uh, Tostarinans hanging outside, so that might give you a clue as to which boss is in here. There we go. And yeah, it's Nuklatek. I think it's Nuklatek. Is that the name? You actually find out the names of the bosses by checking the music list, because the songs that play are named after the bosses that they play for, uh, as you can see. So you've got, yeah, Nuklatek. And then Talk Drift is when we just fought Mecha Wiggler, Mollusk Lansor, Cooker's Heel. Uh, yeah, you get, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use another one of these. So, as you may remember from this boss, you don't actually use a capture most of the time. You have to dodge around and then capture the fists in order to punch Nuklatek in the face with them. So, for the for a large part of this boss battle, you are just uncaptured as Mario. And so, it will be difficult because we're crouching. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> So the thing that makes this version of the fight more difficult than the original is wait for Nuklatek to arrive, which takes a little bit, a few seconds. There we go. You can see wherever his fists have hit, there are now mummies everywhere. Uh, that's what makes the fight much harder. The fact that these mummies are spawning everywhere because they're very hard to get rid of and they're just everywhere and they just mess you up real bad. They're also quite fast. As you can see, everywhere he punches, there's now a whole bunch of them. And they just swarm everywhere and it's just a problem. Uh, it still takes the same amount of attacks, so provided you can get your hits in nice and easily, you should be okay. I have taken a hit already, as you can see. But yeah, because of these mummies everywhere, this fight is harder. Uh, Yeah, I lost my life apart. Mm. 
have to be real good at weaving as well. There we go. Okay, this was easier than I expected. Uh, I think because when I'm moving around as just Mario, I backflip so much, the mummies weren't as big a threat as normal because we're not on the ground as often. Uh, anyway, that's that done. <laughs> ba -da 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 Okay, uh, so that one wasn't as big a hassle as I expected. Uh, with the life up hard, it was it was okay. Uh, so there's one more boss to do. If you have another look at the moon list again, scroll scroll this way because the Toadette moons are really really long. Uh, yeah, we can say we have five of them now. I believe this is where the last one spawns. Uh, so if we head over to the final boss area, this one is the pipe at the bottom of the moat, the one we had to eat the fruit out of in order to get access to it. So it is sort of the most hidden boss rather than being like in a fairly easy area to access, which is appropriate because it is the hardest of these rematches to do. Uh, it's around here somewhere. There it is. It's heading to this pipe. And it will, of course, be the boss that gave me trouble in our first playthrough. The Ruined Dragon. So I am going to use the amiibo again. Just to heal up. There we go. Okay, so if Ruined Dragon, the pattern of the lightning is much harder. And I think you don't have as much time. Uh, it's still only three hits, but managing to survive is much more difficult than in the original fight. Uh, and I consider this to be one of the game's hardest bosses, so... We'll see how we go. <laughs> So the lightning comes out in these weird, like, fence patterns instead of the way it was before, which was a lot easier to deal with. Uh, also, the floor is ice now. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, the floor is ice, so uh, that sucks. Um, and I didn't manage to hit him in time, so that's not good. So yeah, um, you're playing on ice and the patterns are harder, so overall this is a much more difficult fight than the original. It's already very hard, as you may remember from the video where I just did that and nothing else because I had so much trouble with it. Okay, that's one hit. Ah. I always have trouble dodging these. It's so confusing. Jeez, uh, okay. So yeah, um, it's much harder to backflip because of the ice. Uh, if you're skidding a little bit, you'll do a, a, a you'll do a, a long jump instead. See? Uh, which means backflipping up the dragon's face in order to actually get in is a lot harder than it was before because we can't stops easily in order to do regular jumps. <laughs> and I'm going to dodge all the attacks again. <laughs> so yeah, this boss is going to be hard. Uh, hopefully we can pull it off. Uh, it might take a few tries. Hey, 
That's two hits, though. We're making good progress. Um, I'm kind of tempted to use the amiibo to heal up. Uh, I might do it if we get down to, say, a two health or something, because we are actually running low on hearts here. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The thing about using the amiibo is you actually have to basically stop what you're doing in order to use it. And you can see I'm having some trouble with it. Doesn't want to activate for some reason. There we go. Okay. You can't, like, pause the game to do that. You have to do it during gameplay. Uh, which is a problem if you're trying to dodge attacks while you're doing it, as you might expect. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of chains here at the end. You've got to break off. Um, I'm going to take two tries. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And these movements are still hard to predict, of course. Ah, really? Ah! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I pulled it off. I did have to use the life up heart in the middle of the fight there, otherwise that would not have that would not have worked. Oh wow. Uh but yeah, that's all the boss rematches done. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Rumbling crumbled in. <laughs> Alright, so if we look at our moon list now, you can see uh, we've done all of those, all six of them, there we go. Uh, we still need to do the uh, picture match moon, so we'll cover that, probably do that next, there's actually two of them. Uh, we haven't done the race yet either, so let's do that next, the race isn't too tricky. Uh, I th think we're fairly close to it, maybe? Where are we? I'm actually closer to picture match, but I feel like doing the race, so let's go do the race. So, but the race is pretty simple. Uh, you basically just have to go to Peach's Castle, the front gate, from down here where the... where the Coopers are. Uh, it's not normally too tricky. I don't know how hard it'll be here. There are two uh, versions of it, just like every other race, even though there's no moon rock here. Uh, the first one, I don't expect to be too hard. Uh, you basically just want to use the rocket flowers as much as you can to get up there. So you just have to get to the gates of the castle. Or the... it's not really a gate. The front, front door. But yeah, you just have to rocket flower your way up there. It's pretty easy. See? Uh, the second one might be harder. I think the Gold Cooper also knows about rocket flowers, so you have to be a little more uh, skilled about it. I don't know why they didn't make a multi-star graphic for this kingdom. Like, there's so many multi-moons in this kingdom, it would have made a lot of sense. Uh, anyway. 
The second race, this one might be a bit of a hassle, but if we basically do the same thing we just did, we should be okay. Um, it's not too tricky. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, we may have some problems. <laughs> yeah, that Gold Cooper is way ahead of us. Oh, alright. <laughs> okay, so they use the Rocket Flowers, but not as well as we do. So, we're fine. Uh, the time was a bit worse, but we still pulled it off. <laughs> Alright, so that's all the races done. If we have another look at the list, uh, they fill in this spot, I think. Yeah. Okay, uh, I believe... I believe uh, these two are the 2D section, or it might be these two that are the 2D section. Uh, we're going to do picture match next anyway, so the 2D section will wait for a bit longer. Uh, I'm a little scared of it. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need two-player mode to do it, because we need speed to get through it in time. It's, it's, it's hard. Uh, Mario, what are you doing? Uh, so let's just grab this seed over here and do it that way. Uh, there's another one of these beanstalk seeds here. You can plant over here. I think that saves. Yeah, it does. i just get you back up here. Easy. So picture match is over in the Goomba Woods section, if we head over that way. Uh, and it's not too tricky. I'm going to be simplifying things a bit by checking a reference pick, uh, just to avoid having to do it over and over. Okay, here there's a bunch of stars you can just grab if you just wanted to get 20 coins nice and quick. So that's nice. Uh, lost a couple of blue coins. Uh, we did that timer challenge already. So yeah, the rocket is just here. Uh, there it is. And this rocket leads you up to picture match. Uh, as you may remember from the other picture match, there were twice as many pieces as we needed. Uh, the deal here is we're going to use the other pieces, basically. Uh, so, rather than making a picture of a Goon Boy, doing a picture of Mario. Yeah, I'd love to give it a try. Okay, so... I'm just gonna take a screenshot right now. There we go. You have to do this twice, of course, which is a bit annoying, but not a big hassle. Uh, let's start with that that mouth there, because Mario has one of those. Uh, basically, yeah, you just move the pieces into place. The fact that we're crouching doesn't affect it much. It's a little more annoying to capture things, because they're on the ground and they're quite small, but it's not a huge deal, really. Mario's moustache... Goes about there. Uh, this big round thing here is Mario's nose. goes here-ish, and then you have these blue eyes, because those are the eyes Mario has. Uh, I think it goes over here. Out there. So we're going to do this twice, because there's two moons to be had uh, from doing it. From doing it with a better score or whatever, but you have to do it twice. No matter how good your score happens to be the first time. It's a little frustrating. Uh, okay, then the eyebrow... goes about... here. It actually overlaps the hat, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but... you know, whatever. <laughs> and then the other eyebrow goes... Uh, about here, I think. There we go. Now we go talk to the toad and see how we did. Really? <laughs> 91 points for that? Okay. Yeah.
So yeah, uh, we just have to do it one more time. I believe the passing score will be 90 points this time. Eighty points. Okay. Okay. So if we do the same as last time, we'll be fine. Uh, of course, it is harder here because you only get the silhouette. You don't get uh, any of the existing picture, which is a little annoying. Uh, I'm not sure why they increased the score and also made it harder in another way, like. The trace walking is exactly the same path, it's just you have to do better. Uh, whereas this one you have to do better, and it's a slightly harder challenge as well, so I don't know. It seems a little strange. Like, the other, the other challenges as well, it's just either you do the same thing but better, or you get a harder challenge, it doesn't give you both at the same time, whereas this one does. It's a little weird. It's out there somewhere. Yeah. Originally, I couldn't figure out how to get this one because I didn't realise the eyebrows were part of the picture. So I wasn't using them at all. And so obviously my score wasn't high enough. Uh, I think I had similar problems with the Goomba, actually. I just didn't realise that the eyebrows were supposed to be in the picture, which was a bit silly. There we go. Hopefully this, this is good enough, because this game is really annoying to do over and over, and it annoys me. Um, about there. Also, this has nothing to do with crouching, because, you know, all you're doing is moving these pieces around on a puzzle sort of thing. Oh, really? I did not have a lot of fun. This is an annoying mini game that I don't really like. Okay, I gotta do it again. Uh. Okay, I basically put everything too high up. So let's put things a little bit lower this time and hopefully we'll do better. Uh. I have to do this twice. I, didn't, I did all the bosses in one go, but this. <laughs> Way too hard. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, the easiest way to capture them is to throw your hat past them and then land so that... Uh, and then come back down and land so that you, um... When, when Cappy Holmes back in on you, she goes a bit lower and therefore hits the pieces you're trying to hit. Since they're quite flat, that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. Since you can't throw Cappy unless you're in the air. Really hoping this is right. I feel like the eyebrows are probably too high again, but maybe we'll be okay. Please be right, please be right. Oh, come on! <sighs> this has nothing to do with crouching, just, 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 just give me the moon already, I don't, I don't want to do this. <laughs>
I haven't got much to say about this, it's just an annoying minigame that I'm not a big fan of. And it's not effective by what we're doing, so what's the point? <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, it's, it's not that bad, it's okay. It's just, it's not, it's not that much fun compared to some of the other minigames. And it's not effective by crouching. I prefer the races and stuff, because that's really using the game's movement to its full potential. There we go. Just. Okay, so that's picture match done. Uh, which is good, because I don't like picture match. Uh, uh. Alright, so the things we have left to do, if we head back down... Have another look at the moon list, see what's left. We're at 32 minutes, so this might be a good spot to stop. Uh, let's see, 104. So one of those is the one we can't do, the impossible one here, which is light from the ceiling. We can't do that, because we can't look up, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, let me try a couple of things. Okay, no. Yeah, I can't think. I can't think of anything we can do to actually cancel that out. Since you're not allowed to enter first-person mode unless you're just standing normally, and that's something we can cannot do. Okay, so yeah, there's life from the ceiling. There's one more Toadette moon, and there's the two in the 2D section. And I'm really worried about that 2D section, so I'm just probably going to give it a video to itself because <laughs> it's really hard. And I'm pretty sure I need to play a mode to do it fast enough. It's, it's really annoying, trust me. Uh, that, but I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to cash in these moons. Uh, the last Toadette moon we can't get until we go to the dark side and get some more hint art. So we can't do that one yet. We'll come back here, coins. There we go. Uh... So I'm going to cash in these moons, and in the next video, we're probably just going to do that 2D section, which I'm expecting to take quite a while, because it's really, really hard. <sighs> cash in the moons. 8.42. So we're getting close to every moon at this point, but there are some impossible ones, so there's a good chance we won't get everything, which is sad. Uh, but that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, we're going to be jumping down that well over... Where is the well? Over there, I think? Question mark? Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be jumping down the well and entering uh, the hard 2D section. Uh, it has a vertical pipe entrance, which makes me a little sad that it is possible to enter those vertical pipes because if I knew it was straightforwardly impossible that would be a lot simpler than it being possible but heinously difficult. <laughs> uh, but it should be possible, we should be able to do it, it is just going to be hard. And every time we mess it up we have to enter the vertical pipe again. So, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.